In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use gradients along the paths. So this is few step process. First you will choose the colors you want to use, then you're going to create the circles and then interpolate between them. So this is just many circles. Then you create your path which you will put your stroke on and then I'm going to show you few tricks how to tweak this. So let's get into that. So first you need to choose your palette. This is mine. I found it on some website. Then you will create a circle and copy it as many times as you need for your gradient. So uh, then align it and distribute it evenly. And now we can pick the colors. Uh, Selecting by clicking, then D, and then S back to select. Now I have my circles and I need to convert them to the path. So I'm selecting them with direct selection tool and then clicking this button. Now you can see there, uh, there are paths because you can see the points. This step is very important because next step wouldn't work if we didn't do that. So now I'm going to extension, generate from the path, interpolate. Um, I will choose the first method. I don't want duplicating the ads. I want interpolating style and I want to use Z order. Uh, this is important because it's basically using how is it stuck. So order of my copying is important which I did as a first step. Um, I will use 30 steps because this is a good compromise between speed and smoothness of this transition. Let me apply that. Okay, so this is my transition. Now I need my final shape which will be applied to the spline. So let me use this, increase the smoothing and draw some random shape. This doesn't really matter, but I will turn off the fill and enable stroke so I can see when I'm editing. Now I will copy this and uh, ungroup all of these objects because they are put in a group automatically and then group them all just to have a nice clear object. And now I'm going to, to the path effects, add a new path effect, look for bent. And since this, I have copied this uh, path, I can press this button and it will link it to this. And basically that's the effect now. This is still editable. So now you can go to the direct selection tool and still move this. Um, you can improve the look by, by moving the objects or you can make this bigger. And you can notice that these ends are stretched, which is not ideal. You can kind of fix that by going to this uh, gradient, I should name this and turn off the band and basically we can see that this path is much much longer than this we have to imagine that we want to stretch this and this should be the same length so uh, i'm going to inside of my gradient group selecting the last object and moving it if i imagine this is a rope and I'm stretching it, I imagine it is would be this far. Now I can select all the objects, go to align and distribute, go to grid, uh, change this to fit into the selection box and click arrange. This will stretch out my gradient and you can see, now I can see the steps. Sometimes it's okay, but uh, if you want to add more steps, you can just select all of the objects it's important that you are inside of group go to extension generate from the path 
interpolate and now don't put 30 but use more conservative number say let's 3 and apply now this transition trans transition is much smoother so if i enable bending back again you can see the ends are much less distorted and basically that's the effect you can you can still edit the shape and if you want you can even make the stroke bigger by disabling bend again going to a gradient double clicking inside the group ungrouping all of the objects and then going to transform panel and go to scale uh, and apply to the each and change the size to 150 uh, percent if you check this it will apply it to the width and height at the same time so i can apply this can see the gradient got bigger and if I enable band again my stroke is much thicker a um, few problems with this uh, are that um, you can expect some uh, some artifacts if the stroke is too stretched so you have to tweak that and also it can break easily so if I go here and make my point sharp it kind of start to looking broken but yeah that's about it